Okay, today's goat challenge with twisting. Um, wanted to do three different twists. Um, one on a regular bar, maybe put a reverse twist in it. So for me, I'm going to do this with a slightly octagonal piece. So I've isolated out, put a little octagonal in it. It's give or take even all the way through. And I've got fairly solid little squared out transitions at the other end. Awesome. Second one, I would like you to do a chiseled twist. And this one I've chiseled down. And you do any variance of all of these, whether it's the same as what we've done or something completely different. Uh, so this one is chiseled. And on opposite sides, it's been struck down the corners to octagonalize ever so slightly, just to see the difference between this one and this one twisting past each other. And this last one, I'd like to try a composite bar. So grab a couple of pieces of something or other, or three pieces, four pieces, six pieces, ten pieces, whatever you're feeling feisty about. Um, I welded these up, uh, but you could just hold them together with twist wire, something like that, and heat up that central portion. This one I'm going to try and do as a composite twist, but kind of make it a little bit surprising. Just showed me a picture of a thing on uh, Pinterest of all places um, and it's kind of a funky one. I'm, I'm not trying to do one of these, I understand it in principle, but it looks kind of... Is my drawing working? Uh, yeah, I think so. Kind of like that, right? Yes. So from my comprehension of the mechanics of what steel does, there should be an opening. So take, take your flat bar, open it up, twist it 180, push it together, and then flatten these down. So there is a bend here and a twist as well. So no idea if it's going to work. This might be one of those videos where I wind up having a lot of beeps. Um, and but we well, will see. you know, it could be like oh. that uh, punch all the holes in one heat. We might have to do a a take a, two, take to, three, a re take a re challenge <laughs> if you don't manage to get it. <laughs> um, chiseling and chasing. If you don't know how to do it, go watch the videos on chiseling and chasing. Uh, basically, I laid my lines in cold. I then went in deeper, hot, and then even deeper for a second pass. So uh, don't skimp on your hard work. Also, there's some really fun ones where you chisel it, twist it, chisel it again, untwist it. So if you're getting into like the weird pineapple twist and all that kind of nonsense as well. So I'm gonna start off with the octagonal one. I'm gonna do a nice soft twist in that, probably one full twist here and then come back to the very, very center, heat it with a torch and do one full twist in the opposite direction. This will please Baloo greatly because we know how much he loves the oxyacetylene torch. Oh, he's already, oh no, he's in here right now. He's in here right now. As soon as I pick that thing up, he's gonna be He's terrified me. of that. It's the only thing in the shop he's afraid of. Baloo, what do you think of this? Baloo. About this. Do you like the torch? Every time. He stayed longer than normal this it's time. Because so. it was between him and his exit. <laughs> he does not like that thing. Oh, buddy. Sorry, I'm, I'm going to be using it. I don't want to freak you out. Sorry, Pooper. Now, don't know why he's afraid of it. It's not like it's done anything to him at all. No, it hasn't. I, maybe it just sounds weird. Yeah. Uh, he uh, will happily stand underneath you while you're using the grinder and get covered in sparkles. Oh, he'll stand right underneath the power hammer and the press. Yeah. Forges, doesn't matter. Drop a ball at your feet while you're forging big stuff. Doing flip it over. Try to place it pretty well in between the burners. Let's see if I get even this. Might as well pop this one in to be really deep. But 
have fun with your twists. You know, hammer in the corners a little bit, chisel some lines, chisel. Oh, another fun one to do is you can do like ring punches or center punch marks, things like that, and just see what they happen. How do they deform? What peculiarities do you get? Um, Jess showed me some horror show pictures earlier that looked like um, tentacles almost. They were pretty creepy. They're pretty gross. Yeah. I just had a, a thought that you could tell the age of a smith based on the kinds of twists that oh, they like. Absolutely, Like yeah. what's the fashionable twist these days is that one with the uh, cubes on it. Yeah, the, the cubed and chiseled out, yeah. and dragon tail and all the rest of it. Yeah. And you know, sure those were around 20 years ago, 30 years ago, but um, <laughs> the joy of Pinterest has brought all those kinds of things back again. Also, uh, things like the wheat sheaf. I um, love those that. Are really See, I think I'm just an old lady at heart because yeah. I love those wheat sheaves and, and, and the old basket. Yeah, and, and like the, and the, the little knots. And where, just this one that you're about to do, this octagonal. Oh, yeah. Twist it's up, classic. Just this, you know, you'll see this in all over Europe in medieval work. Uh, it's pretty cool. They knew what was up. <laughs> and because I prepped myself so well, my tools are preset to the correct width. When you do this, um, you're getting pretty close. You're getting your tools and the vise pretty close to your transitions, right? Yeah. Excuse I me. don't know how much I twisted there. I kind of forgot where I was up to. That's a little tighter than I was wanting to go, but it'll be all right. Well, I can't really see it. Well, give it a brush then. Yeah, I got a little over excited. Twisted the wheel more than wanted. But that's okay. Whilst that chills out a little bit, I'm going to reposition the other one in the fire. And then I'll come back to another twist. Also, soften up the. Uh, if you're using a modern vise, soften up the jaws. Uh, a lot of them have a lot of heavy knurling on them. Either soften them up or make yourself a pair of uh, jaw covers. You know, I made these out of uh, just a piece of bronze, I think, actually, that I had left over. Those just go on there. Protects the teeth a little bit from marring up your work. It's better that it mars the back of your jaws uh, covers than anything or remove the jaws that are on there and put some mild steel ones on. That'll make a difference. Alrighty, we'll come back in. Uh, I'm going to give myself a mark just visually. I look about center. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. up in that upper section it started to untwist the uh, yeah, it bit above. that's kind of fun. Um, it's nice to see those kinds of anomalies. Alright, yeah, that one out. Yeah, I'll do. I'm not gonna bother straight out much more than it is. Give it one one or two bombs. I mean, octagonal twists to me are one of the prettiest things, bar that little peculiar bit there. 
Um, so, fun. Alright, my uh, split twist is ready to roll. I don't think I've ever reversed one of these. So. I don't know if I've ever seen one reversed. Maybe there's a reason for that. We'll find out. Yeah, we might. <laughs> You're like, oh, that's why you don't do that. So it's half. Going to full. Oh, full. Maybe you don't do it because it's just so pretty how it is. Yeah, uh, you're probably right. But you can see quite easily there, if you get the correct width of the tool, cutting that chisel groove, it almost looks like it's multiple pieces. Uh, and you know, of course, it's sizing to the correct depth. Uh, what is that? Correct depth and tool width? I don't know. Do a couple of dozen, you'll figure it out. Oh, are you not gonna reverse it? I don't think so. Change your mind? Yeah. It's just, it's nice. Why fuck it up? Right, so. It's pretty good with that, the octagonalized one. Yeah, it really does complete square. that effect of it looking like four different pieces. Yeah, and again, you can make this one into a round. So you could go through with like a, a swage, and swage it over. Uh, make it really, really rounded out. So. It's a lovely look. Yeah, I don't think that needs to be messed with anymore. Maybe we'll play with it one day and do a reversed one. All right. And all right, let's try this stupidity. I have no idea how this is going to go. I like the torch on. I might need that. <laughs> <laughs> What I'm thinking is, what do you think? I've got to do essentially that and then, yeah, turn it over itself. So one way so that you could... Um, probably needs to be open. One thing that you could do probably to practice something like this before you do it in steel would be to do it in, say, paper yeah, or cardboard clay. cardboard clay, something like that. Um, we just... Idiot. We're idiots. <laughs> but you could certainly do this in, in cardboard or something like that and it would um, at least get, get you started on the right path. Um, if you're trying to figure out some of these um, chiseled twists and things like that, especially some of the the ones that really, get really have a lot going on, like those ones with the squares on the edges. Do it in or clay. When they peel pieces out and then yeah, twist Yeah, yeah. So you know, get some clay. Plasticine is what we use. Uh, Roma plastilina. I think we get it. I don't know. I got it at an art store, but I'm sure you can buy it on Amazon or wherever else. And um, get the extra firm one and just use it. Do whatever you're going to do in steel to the clay first. And um, you'll know then if it if it will work in steel. More or less. This is very much like the hairpin one. And I wonder if there's a technique related to that. I'll wing it, see what happens. <laughs> I don't know why this is bringing me out at all. So I've got to bring it up to 90. I think it's almost the entirely opposite reverse of that. Oh. 
Yeah. Because that one you just go fold, fold. Right. This one you've got to got to create a 90 degree bend. Yeah. <laughs> I am entirely kind of bemused by this foolishness. I also have to be able to get it back into the forge, whatever. <laughs> I do with this thing. Trying to keep that energy behaving itself. Yeah, it totally looks like it's going in the right direction. It does, and then I think maybe you just twist it. Right? there and take another hit and twist it because there's get you in there <laughs> those planes definitely need to be opposite of where they are now <laughs> this is fun i love the foolishness that this has made me do over the last year two years how long it's been uh, each iteration of these foolishnesses get worse and worse. Oh, I'm kind of a big what, fan. What are you doing? Well, I was concerned it was a little warm, but it I'm being special because my brain's confused. <laughs> All right. I say, I bet there's a real easy, tricky way to this. You know, you like bend it like this, bend it like this, and then go, ding, it's done. Just like um, cage twists. You know, how many times when I was first looking at cage twists, going, how on earth do you do this? And it just turns out you want to twist it. Kind of feel like this one is. If you've done this before. And you know the Let trick. Let us know. Let us know. Do us a video. And tell you to do <laughs> Sorry, Mark. No, absolutely. I found this thing on Pinterest and was like, uh, he was trying to explain it to me and I wasn't getting it. And so I told him to do this as his personal goat challenge. <laughs> uh, and I think I got him. I got him a good challenge. Every time. <laughs> Just trying to keep this thing straight and centered up. And then maybe do you then, just fold it? Yeah, there's a fold that way and that way. And then this one folds this way. That's what I'm saying. I think there's got to be a kind of simple way to do it. Well, there must be because that that one that we saw. It was just so beautifully executed. Yeah. <laughs> and maybe it's one of those things that once you've got it closed up, 
you're like, oh, that's really easy, that's what that is. <laughs> that's what's fucking mangled. Oh, I think I just figured it out. I think it's like the hairpin. I think I just figured it out. Yeah, I think that before you twist it this this way, you, do you this. open it up, you close here. Rotate those. Rotate those and then twist the top bit. All right, I think we got to do this again. You're doing it the next one. I'm going to be on the back side of the camera just standing there. You can't. You can't camera, It'd man. It'd be amazing. <laughs> I don't know why you're down to my beautiful camera artistic. <laughs> It'd be very factual. <laughs> I think also the distance is part of important uh, for that opening. So what do you think? Like pinch it like this? Yeah. And like that. Before you twist. Before you twist. And then this one folds down here. Yeah, so you would rotate. It's like a quadruple twist. Yeah. And instead of using a hammer, basically none of it's done with a hammer, it's all done with wrenches. Yeah, because the hammer just messes it all up. Yep. Again, thank you, Jessica, for finding completely random things out there in the uh, Pinterest universe. Hey, no problem. To make my life more entertaining. I'm glad that I could uh, be of assistance there. I All right, just... so now we know. I really want to see that done well, though. All right, well, I'll let you practice that one over the next three months. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Interesting. You know what? For a number one scribble, not bad. I mean, it's basically what you drew, just yeah. okay. Just way less sexy. Okay. You're gonna take a hold of that thing. <laughs> it's, <not funny. laughs> it's really funny. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's I don't think it's that at all. I think it's a bend. It's a two 90 degree bends and a fold. And then you go my twist. All right. Well, have a fiddle. I mean, if you wind up with something special like me, share it with the universe because I'm not embarrassed. <laughs> but I, uh, I'll send Jessica on her way to figure that one out for everyone. All right, well, so give it a whirl. Do a kind of standard twist, do a chisel twist, and do a it's composite a twist, just see what happens. Um, because why not, that's how you learn. And as I said, go on Pinterest, there are a gazillion twists of all kinds of weird and wonderful things that people have done. Give them a whirl, why not? And even if you don't know what it is, don't go hunt for the YouTube video on how to do the thing. Try and reverse engineer it yourself so you actually learn something in the process. Because you might wind up with something completely different and go, oh, that's a different way of doing things. Anyway, have fun as you go with the challenge. Get on with it.